The war room is fitting because we are at war, a war that began early last year when we were ambushed by the COVID virus. Governor Andrew Cuomo delivering his state of the state address from the war room at the Capitol in Albany today. Virtually, of course, and usually a one day affair. The governor says details will be coming over the next three days. But today, the overview, a roadmap to rebuild, reimagine and renew New York State. Why the war room at the state capitol? Because Governor Andrew Cuomo says we've been at war with the COVID-19 virus for almost a year now. So the first agenda item the governor highlights for the coming year, defeating COVID. With a high-performing hospital system, as well as the diligence, he says, of New Yorkers as keys to stopping the spread. Number two, vaccinate. 70 to 90 percent of our 20 million New Yorkers quickly, safely, and fairly. Third, dealing with our short-term economic crisis, which includes a record $15 billion state deficit. Fourth, planning for the state's economic resurgence. We simply cannot stay closed until the vaccine hits critical mass. The cost is too high. We will have nothing left to open. We must reopen the economy, but we must do it smartly and safely. Fifth, make New York the global leader in the economic shift to green energy. Sixth, anticipate how COVID will transform our society and economy and capitalize on those coming changes. And seventh, address the systemic injustices exposed during what the governor calls this year's low tide in America, the inequity, the racism, the social abuse. Obviously a much different state of the state address than in years past. First, because it was virtual, but also that today was just an overview with more details to come. I did catch up though virtually with some of our representatives in the state legislature to get their thoughts about today. We have to get control of this, this crisis and, uh, and we also have to make sure that we vaccinate people in the right order, but as quickly as possible. Then we had the ec other economic um, items there for sure. So I guess what I would say is I just want to hear more. I didn't hear much about small businesses. Uh, you did talk a little bit about you know getting the economy going again, but you didn't provide any specifics of how to do that. But the backbone of our economy is small businesses. They're the ones that are struggling the most uh, under this COVID pandemic pandemic that we're in. And if we don't do something in the state to help them out, we're going to see uh, them con continue to close. Personally, I was very happy to hear about infrastructure. Uh, being the chairman of the Transportation Committee, I've been pushing this all along and have been trying to talk to not only state uh, officials, but also federal officials and other state officials in trying to get uh, in a position where infrastructure monies can provide uh, not only the infrastructure needs, but also the jobs and the economic stimulus that we need to move our state and our country forward. The governor says he will have three specific action plans coming over the next three days.